This film is made by the Gypsy and Traveller communities for the Gypsy and Traveller communities. It's about the COVID-19 vaccine. There are so many questions about whether it's safe and whether you need it at all. We wanted to get answers, and so we're visiting a doctor we trust. Dr Tim from the Arch Clinic in Brighton. So thanks so much for inviting me to FFT. It's a real pleasure to be here and I'm really looking forward to chatting about the vaccine and how it works and answering any questions you've got. I've, I've got a question, Tim, before we start. Yeah, yeah, um, of course. So once I have the vaccine, can I actually get ill from the vaccine? Yes, that's a really good question. I think the most important thing to know is that it's impossible, completely impossible, for the vaccine to give you COVID. Um, the way it's designed, they don't actually give you any of the virus into your body. So there's no way you're gonna get COVID. What you might get, if they give you the vaccine, is you might get um, a slight fever for a day or two. You might feel a bit poorly. You might have a sore arm, or just feel like a bit run down and uh, uh, like you've got a cold or something. If you're really unlucky, that can last for a few days. Generally, I see that as a really good sign because what's happening is it's provoking your body to start getting ready to fight an infection. So your body's having a practice fight so that when the actual virus comes, you're all ready to fight it off. That's good to know. Um, I've already had COVID, so why do I need the vaccine? Yeah, that's another really good question. Because to begin with, we didn't know if you got COVID, if you could get it again, or if you were protected for life, or whether it was better to have the vaccines, if that gave you better defences. What we found out is that if you've had COVID, you are much less likely to get it again. So having COVID does give you lots of protection, but people are starting to get it a second time. So although it gives you a lot of protection, it looks like that starts to wear off. And what they've done is they've looked at the people they've given the vaccine to, and actually the people that have had vaccines are much less likely to get it a second time. So if you've had COVID, you're protected. But if you've had the vaccines, you're even more protected. And then the real magic thing is if you've had COVID and then you get both the vaccines, then you're like super, super protected. So I always say to people, if they've had COVID, you should get the vaccines as well, because then you're going to have really good, strong immunity. I have a question. I've seen lots of news on the internet saying that a vaccine changes our DNA. Is this true? So it doesn't actually change our DNA at all. It just gives us a little bit of the code of the virus so that our body practices making it and it practices fighting it off. And then once it's fought it off, that code gets destroyed. So it's not left in our body at all. Tim, what is, in the, what is actually in the vaccine? What are the ingredients? What is the vaccine made out of? There's been lots of talk about all sorts of things being in the vaccine, like um, mouse brains or, or fetus cells or um, aluminium and different metals and mercury. None of that's in it. It is really, really safe. And I honestly would not be giving it to my patients if I thought I was injecting them with something that was dangerous or had dodgy stuff in it, because I just wouldn't be able to live with myself. Are there any animal products in the vaccine at all? No, it's, there are no animal products in the vaccine. It's completely fine for vegetarians <coughs> to have and for vegans to have. Um, my daughter is a vegan. She's a really strict vegan. She won't let anything into her body that's got any animal products and she's had the vaccine. And the Vegetarian Society have said it's absolutely fine to have. So if you're a vegetarian or vegan, it's fine. Um, I've got a question. Does the vaccine affect fertility and pregnancy rates? That's a really good question because there's been lots of articles on the internet and lots of people talking about does it affect your fertility or if you, if you, have, the, um, if you have the vaccine, does it um, mean that you can't get pregnant or does it mean that if you're a guy that you become impotent? And the good news is that's all made up. There is no chance of it affecting your fertility at all. And the rates of getting pregnant haven't gone down. So a third of the world had the vaccine and we're not making less babies. So it's absolutely fine to have the vaccine. You can still get pregnant. You can still have babies. There's no worries about that at all. Uh, thank you very much, Tim. That's been great for answering all our many questions. Um, just a quick, just a quick one. Um, what if people watch this film and are still not convinced? Have you got any more information or anyone they can talk to about it? Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's a big decision, isn't it? Especially if you've heard lots of scare stories. If you're still not sure, I'd recommend that you talk to organisations like FFT, who are brilliant. And you can really talk to GP as well. If you've got a GP, always talk to them because um, this is an important decision 
and hopefully you'll come to the decision that this is the best thing to do because I really believe with all my heart that it is. Thank you very much.